Hello everybody, this is Mateo and I'm meeting you in front of the giant clock in front of the main hub room for no apparent reason. Just thought it would be the best idea considering it's a notable place, so it's not like it would be difficult to find. Uh, really quickly, just want to grab some of the bananas around here for the- oops, forgot I wasn't controlling the DK already. Um, just a couple things right here, like those ten. And then Diddy also has five more right here. And I think that's all the bananas, as well as Lanky's five right around here as well. So we'll grab those and then we'll start moving on again, because I don't know how we're- really how we're doing on, uh, banana amounts. Okay, so Lanky, if you could come on over. Come on down, I guess. Yep, there we go. And he has it right here. So, we've already done the other two sections. All that we have left is this blue section, and we want DK to grab those bananas. Okay, so back to the change barrel one last time. To go back to the man that we started with. And my dog is going crazy. I have no idea why, and you know what? I really don't care. Okay, so let's go ahead and head down the blue section. This is going to hold a majority of our bananas along with that giant mushroom. There really aren't... I don't... Well, there's that one in the well for Chunky, but there really are not a lot of uh, golden bananas in that main central hub room. That has a different purpose. We can't go in that nighttime area, so we're going to skip that for now. I believe that there are some bananas in the water right here. They are purple, so switch to tiny. As we try to get through this, just start making some headway in this area now. And there's quite a bit to do with just this barn right here. Yeah, we're gonna want to grab all these. She's kind of far from her banana metal. But after this, this should add like another 10 maybe. Uh, maybe slightly more than that. 15 tops. Ah, well, we are we just beat 10, so let's see here. 15? Ah, uh, it's looking to be 15. Because I feel like we've... Nope, maybe even 20. Uh, actually, 17. That's an uneven number. Or not a multiple of 5, rather. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. There are three stray bananas for Tiny somewhere that I didn't grab. Well, either that or I haven't had the chance to grab them yet. Okay, up next. You know what? Let's... Uh, I'm pretty sure that isn't Snide right here. Yeah, Snide is right here. So we're going to go ahead and turn in those blueprints that I've gotten already. Which I think there are three of them. Uh, Tiny's, Lanky's, and Chunky's. All from the... Oh, no, not Lanky's. Diddy's. Instead of Lanky. But those three all from the, um, mushroom area, so that's good. So this one is pretty quick, I do believe. Just smack the hammer into that thing, it'll bring down the golden banana, and that's it. So not another really quick one, but it could get old pretty quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two off-screen, and then we'll go ahead and check out the picture once I turn in those two. So I will see you all then. Okay, so we got our third banana from Snide right there, so that's... Diddy's, Tiny's, and uh, Chunky's blueprint done. Also, is that the rareware symbol down at the bottom on Chunky's newest blueprint? I think so. I mean, that's kind of neat. Neat little shout out to themselves, but you are really getting that picture together. More than halfway done, which is nice. Okay, now then. Now, what do I want to start off with in this section of the world? An entirely new section. There's a lot for us to explore and do. Uh, let's see if I can do Ch uh, Lanky's part yet. And in order to do that, I need to beat up that guy, of course. He, him dying was a most important thing. Uh, first off, let's just quickly activate the other number one, so we have a warp. Even though the warp doesn't go that far, you know, it's always good to have. And let's see if I can head up here. There are at least some bananas for him, but there's also a blueprint. No, not a blueprint, a golden banana type mission type dealy that he has to do here. But it seems like it is not open yet. I don't know, maybe... Maybe there were just regular bananas from up there. And if he were to climb up this thing... Which, he can climb... Yeah, you can climb up this thing. I could have sworn you could, because there are bananas on this. Go on up. There might be something here, or it might... Oh, it's for Diddy. And there's also a nighttime section right here. So, shoot, we'll have to keep that in mind. Darn it. I was really hoping that I could do that, but no. I think that nighttime section might be for Lanky, and then that, that Diddy switch is something else. So let's go ahead and do that. And then also while we're at it, we should check out that other barn. What's with all the barns in this area? 
I mean, you really don't think of barns when you think of forests. Just think of, like, trees and stuff. And this place is actually kind of devoid of trees. Aside from the background, which have, like, brambles, not trees, but whatever. That Those are what they are called, right? Okay, well, let's just go ahead and hit this and miss. And hit this and, and miss. Okay, I'm going to guess that it has to be nighttime for that to work. Uh, we'll try again later, I guess. Okay, so that's weird. So instead, let's just... Um, head inside of the barn, I guess. That's really weird. I'm pretty sure it has to be nighttime since that isn't working. So let's head in here. Okay, what do we have going on? We have a gate. And yeah, some barrels. Change barrel right there. Golden banana behind a giant spiky thing right there. There's actually a way to glitch that out in order to uh, go through the wall and you can grab that with any Kong and you can actually end up with one more golden banana than what you're actually supposed to, but I'm not going to do that. Both because I don't really know how and I really don't want to break the game. So there you go. Now, how do I open that? I forget how I open that. Dang it. How do I open that? I feel like it's something really simple that I'm just forgetting. I think there's a switch somewhere around here. Okay, just bust that open. Oh, hey, here's the switch. I thought that this was a tiny passageway, but I guess that's somewhere else. So let's go ahead and hit that. That'll open up these gates, and we kind of want to hurry up. Not really. It's not that big of a deal in terms of time, although if you get caught on a bag of flour, then maybe. Yeah, we made it in just all right. And there's also the banana balloon right here. So if we could just shoot that, please. No. Come on, stop going right through it. Wow, come on, me. Wow, this is awful. There we go, man. Okay, now somewhere around here... Um, where is it? There should be the, the secret code somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. It's just kind of cut, being covered by the fence right now. Probably should have, darn it, looked at it beforehand. Okay, here we go. Um, two, one, one, two, three, I think it is. Let's try it. So, you see the dots, we want to pull this in the correct order, and if you don't, you'll get hurt. So, two. That's right, at the very least. Two. I hope you like the lever pulling animation. One. One. Come on, DK, you can do it. Two again. Or is it three and then two? Well, hopefully this is it. Nope, nope, that's not it. So do I have to start over from the beginning or just keep on going? Three. Nope, I think I have to start over from the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to meet you uh, what I put in this code. I sure hope this is the last number and not be an it better not be another three. Uh, yes, good, okay. So that'll cause the banana to come on out, and I'm pretty sure it's caged off though. We can't open it quite yet. Yeah, we have to grab it at night. Darn it. It's just so many things in here that we have to do at night. Stuff that's actually going to make us change the time, unlike the um, other part of the world where you, with just a few smooth moves, you can very well just skip over that. Okay, so now we have the conveyor belt moving. But we still need to get the crusher thing moving. So let's go ahead and change to Chunky, if we can. There we go. And let's head on over to the other side of the barn. See what's happening there. Because if you remember right, when we went here towards the beginning with Chunky, we saw this smashed door right here, partially smashed. Well, if you primate punch it, it'll bust right on open, which is nice. Okay, so what's going on here? We have... Some chunky coins. Let's go ahead and grab those because we totally need more coins, guys. 50 is not enough to beat this game. The immense amount of sarcasm in my voice proves it. Homing ammo, because why not? Um, this world is really the only one that gives you a ton of it. Okay, here we have another door that's blocked, but we can only go through it at night, which is unfortunate. Could have sworn there was something that we could do here, though. Um, well, there's these things right here. So let's go ahead and... Is this just a punch? Yeah, that's a punch one. So that's another passageway for Tiny to go through. And it leads outside. For whatever reason, it's really not necessary for anything. 
I don't get why they show a little cutscene for it. And right in here, I, f I don't know what there is. It's too big for us to jump on, though, so... Okay. Wow, we almost have all the ba regular bananas for Chunky, and if we got those five other ones across those vines from the last part, we would have them all. Oh, unfortunately, no. Oh, that actually starts moving this thing. Nice. Okay, good. So that'll get the crusher moving, which... I don't get how playing an instrument gets this thing to start moving. I mean, wouldn't a oh, flow of water cause that thing to start moving? But whatever. Let's just grab this steel keg and start heading on out of here. And back to the other side again, because with that crusher, we actually need to bust it apart. And you actually take this steel keg w out with you, which is kind of interesting. Uh, steel kegs are nothing new to the Donkey Kong guys, especially those in Donkey Kong Country 3, where they used it quite a bit to kill coin. And get the DK, or the hero coin, I think it was called. Okay. So let's just place this one down. This is really the only difficult one, because you have to move to different, uh, a different room to get it. The other ones, if you fail it, well, they'll just respawn right in this room soon enough anyways. So that's two. And the third one is right over here, barely hidden. None of these are really hidden, in fact. Oh man, that explosion almost hit me. Really, the only danger you have are those bees' bombs. Uh, that barrel went right through Chunky, that was weird. But with that, we managed to break the thing that we just started moving, and for whatever reason, that causes this banana to come out. Okay, well, good enough for me, I guess. Whoa, we already have all five golden bananas for Chunky? And we only have two for everybody else? How did that happen? Well, okay, I guess. That's kind of interesting, actually. So Chunky's all done, we don't have to become him ever again. It's kinda nice, actually, only have to worry about four Kongs now. Dang, Chunky, you were just on top of things. I didn't even realize. Okay, so... Now, last minute thing is my dog starts barking again, let's head up here to the tiny barrel. And go ahead and explore these tiny tunnels, I really don't think there's much to these things aside from a couple of bananas. So let's just go ahead and quickly grab those, because why not? Okay, so I'm at 14 minutes right now, but I think I'm actually at 11 or something like that because of all the time cut out. Yeah, there's some extra bananas for her, and five more. And this one leads outside, so yeah. She's really close to her banana metal as well. Why is the door closed for her? That's weird. I'm guessing that's why they put that. Uh, this thing right here then, so that she'd be able to get out of here just in case you were stuck. Okay, well then, that answers my question. I don't get why they put the door there. Oh well. Because it's chunky only access. Okay, what next in this area? Is that the last thing I can do in the morning? Um, I quickly want to check this barn right here before I turn it to night. Because I really don't- I feel like there's something more that I can do when it's morning. But nothing's coming to mind. I know that this is a ditty section, but I'm just gonna check. Otherwise, we're gonna make it night. Um, is there any way that I could like look up? Yeah, it's nighttime. Okay, so it looks like we're finally going to make this place, uh, nighttime, which is different. Oh, hey, there's another door right there that I didn't see. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and use the number one teleporter, and then we can start doing things in the night, and it'll be super spooky and Halloween-y, except not really at all. Ha, I said weenie. Okay, let's just jump over here. This is a kind of difficult jump. No repercussions, though, if you miss it. Just, yeah, there we go. Kinda neat, though, how you're climbing up this thing. I really like that touch that they added. And let's head up here, take out our gun, and shoot the night switch. Now that'll cause this weird bird thing to come out. And all of a sudden, time will speed forward, and it is now nighttime. Not really changing anything in the world, just opening up and closing some gates. But, you know, whatever. Um... We have these bats, which don't really do anything at all, so you can just go ahead and ignore them. But yeah, it's just darker. The Kremlings have become these skeleton guys, uh, which usually take two hits unless you use a more powerful attack than your standard hit. And first and foremost, we are going to become DK and explore this section right here. Now, for whatever reason, I remember this part of the game from when I was younger, even though I'm incredibly sure that I never made it this far in the game. So my thought is that I was actually watching my dad play this game, and he was here, and I just happened to see 
this area because I remember seeing those uh, Kremlings, those uh, Skull Kremlin guys, but I never made it this far in this game. If I could hit the switch, that would be great. There we go. I'm pretty sure this will give us instant access right inside. I thought the DK's Kremlin was right around here, though. Actually, I think it's a, on the other side of this hedge maze type deal. But you want to become invincible there because there's some thorns around that switch. Okay, what's going on here? Um, well, well, there's this guy, and I feel like there's something inside of this thing. Yeah, just some coins. We have plenty of those. There's a ladder right here. Oh, and there's a box. We should probably hit that first. So let's do just that. Ground pound. What is it? Oh, a uh, green DK switch, because, you know, we have to press a blue one to get in here. Is that timed? Is it timed? It is timed. So we want to kind of hurry up a little bit. Whoa, guy, come on now. Uh, climb up the ladder, please, there, DK. DK, ladder, there you go. I know you're used to climbing up trees, and you don't really get the concept of handles, but it would be really helpful if you could figure it out there, sir. Also, there's another box that, there that I'm going to want to break open, and I think I'm going to actually fail this, because DK took too long to climb. Aw, oh, dang it. I was so close. Okay, DK, actually climb the ladder quickly this time. Also, camera, don't get stuck behind a wall. Those would both be great things. Ooh, I got a little head start that time. Although we still have to watch the cutscene again, although I'm pretty sure I get the concept. Uh, watch out there, guy. You aren't going to mess with me. There we go. Grab onto the ladder immediately. DK finally understands ladders. Now, if only he could get shoot so we could play a popular board game. Okay, don't get caught on that wall box thing right there. Okay, and then swing, swing, swing. There we go, we got it. Okay, now we only have to complete this minigame. Oh, no! Of all things. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, okay, let's go. Z to speed up. I thought it was B to speed up. That doesn't make sense, though. Okay, I forget the pattern for this one. In fact, I already failed. You were hit, so I think I'm just going to show my successful attempt, which won't have any commentary for like 60 seconds or something. Because this is going to take a while, and I don't want to keep on talking through it so I know when to cut. Yep. Okay, I think I might have it this time. I really don't know how that worked out, but it did, and I'm glad. Let's just get past this junction to make sure. Yep, I got it. Finally! That took 20 minutes! I'm not even kidding. Maybe plus or minus one minute, but still. Are you really gonna make me climb that again? Okay, no good. Finally, another banana for somebody other than Chunky. Man, Chunky's just raking them in. Or he's raked them in. He's already done. Okay, but anyways, there was that box that I mentioned earlier, so let's go ahead and grab this, and I want a little bit more progress in this episode, and I think with cutting out all those fails and everything else, we're only at about, I don't know, like, 18 minutes? Oh, um, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. My shots will home into the banana fairy? That's neat. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and take your picture. That was pretty easy. Okay, so that's one out of two banana fairies, and I can't remember where the other one is. Darn it. Okay, so let's quickly do one or two more things while it is nighttime. Probably just some things involving... You know what? I'll get Donkey Kong's Kasplat, which... Don't touch that. That spikes. Um, I'm pretty sure is right around here, this way. And then we sh we could also go to that barn that I looked at earlier that had the, um, whatchamacallit on it. Um, the night door, I guess you could call it. So let's just beat him up. Yeah, see, that Kusplat still looked small, unlike the other ones that we saw, the mushrooms. 
Maybe mushrooms make you bigger, just like in Mario. It works for the Kesplats too, I guess. Well then. Okay, speaking of bigger, we haven't really seen Chunky's barrel power all that much, and in fact, I don't really think that we see it ever again. Honestly. Oh, you know what? There's this banana right here that we grabbed. Isn't this for DK as well? So yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. So that's four for him. And we have his blueprints. So that's all five for him. Nice, we're just wrapping everybody up. That was a really easy one to grab too, considering we already did all the work. Okay, so it needs to be morning to open that up. Or get in there, rather. So I think um, I'm going to quickly turn in this blueprint for Snide. Because you know what? I've cut enough. Why not cut out another 30 seconds? And then we'll go do Diddy's thing at the barn. I just want to get DK done so I can say that I finished two Kongs in this part. We just might be able to get this world done in four parts, which is kind of surprising considering... Oh, it's only open during the daytime. Okay, we'll do that later then. And we'll just go straight to Diddy's little barn right here, uh, to the side. So yeah, that seems like a plan. Kind of unfortunate that Snides, for whatever reason, is closed off during this time of night. But whatever, we, we can make do. We'll get in there later. Oh wow, Diddy's missing quite a few regular bananas. But hopefully this area has the rest of them, because I really don't want to go searching too much for more. Okay, we need 15 in this area. Can we do it? Wow, 40 minute recording, dang. And let's play the guitar, because why not? It's here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this calls forth our Squawk's friend. He's doing something other than just giving us hints about how to play the game. Okay, so yeah, we do have a couple banana things right here, and we're supposed to walk really... Well, shoot. We're supposed to walk really carefully across this thing, but nothing really happens if we don't. Oh, I have to play the guitar each time? That's annoying. Come on, Squawks, just wait for me. I'll come back in two seconds. I just climb my way back up or something, I don't even know. Okay, so let's actually make it, grab those ten bananas in the area. And then we'll, in we'll only need five more, which will be very nice. Okay, so I think... Can I get the camera behind me? There we go. Our button is very helpful in this area. Uh, unless you're like me the first time I played this game and didn't even realize that the R button even did anything. Actually, wait, I think I saw another fiver, so that makes 15 total red bananas in this area. So, even better. Oh, dang it, you're gonna be annoying about those. Come on, game. Man, this place really is a maze, but with falling instead of just walls. Okay, so... And with squawks lighting up the area kind of slowly wherever you point the camera, that's kind of annoying. Um, squawks, could we get some light where I'm actually walking? Thank you. Okay. Blah. Okay. Let's just head on over here carefully okay now whoa camera okay so there's just those five left so there aren't another five right in here which is kind of sadness because I need to go looking for five more so that's another golden banana for Diddy we need two more for him and honest oh hey it's the other banana fairy nice so let's go ahead and take a picture of her while we're here. So that's both banana fairies in this part. We've completed two Kongs. Technically, we have to turn in Donkey Kong's blueprint, but otherwise, we got those. We have the crown. We have almost all the blueprints. We have, what, three banana medals, I think? Two. And we're getting really close to the others. Okay, so let's just quickly... Uh, squawks, could I see, please? Whoa, okay. Um, did not want to see that, of all things. Just... Uh, squawks. There we go, yeesh. Come on, man. Wow, you are just not being helpful whatsoever. I'm never waking you up again, yeesh. Whatever, we're just leaving. I don't care about those other five bananas. I'm sure that there, there are bananas in other places. We can find those instead. Okay. So that's... With a 43-minute recording, my god. I'm gonna call that apart. What are our totals looking like for the world? We only need nine more golden bananas, three more banana medals, and that's it. Um, we have 117 bananas in total. And half the banana fairies, that's nice. More than half of the banana medals, half the keys, more uh, half, the, half of the crowns, and slightly more than half of the golden bananas. So yeah, we are really getting up there in the next part. Oh wait, I remember where Diddy's other but golden banana is now, never mind. But in the next part, we are going to explore that barn right there. 
as well as that other area by the mushroom that I opened up but never even mentioned after that. So I will see you all then. Goodbye.